Aloha. My name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association's Educational Foundation. Thank you for joining me here today on Restaurants of Hawaii on the ThinkTech platform. Today, we have an exciting show because we're talking about our Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show coming up in March. And this is an exciting show. Um, we're gonna, we have three people on today and we're gonna go ahead and have them introduce your, themselves. So Kelly, can you please introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about what you do over there at the Star? Hi, Cheryl. Yes, um, I'm Kelly Nakahara, sales manager with Star Events um, and Star Advertiser, which is a division of Oahu Publications. Um, so we're the Hawaii's largest media company here in Hawaii. So from print to digital, online video, you know, obviously so much more. Um, so one of the divisions we have is our Star Events division. Um, so we're your partners for the annual Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show, uh, which we're really looking forward to um, as we go into our fourth uh, year this upcoming March. Yes, I was going to cover that. And it's, thank you for bringing that up, Kelly. So the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show is partnered with three organizations. Of course, the Hawaii Restaurant Association, of course, Kelly from Star, and also the Hawaii Hotel and, and Lodging, the Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association. I'm so sorry. The Hawaii Lodging and Tourism Association, HLTA, our sister association. I also have on um, the show today, Rachel from... Um, HMAA. Rachel, please introduce yourself. Hi, thank you so much. I'm excited to be here. So my name is Rachel. I'm with HMAA. Um, I work very closely with Cheryl and the Hawaii Restaurant Association and different partners um, that we work with. And I'm very happy to be here and again, be a vendor at the show this year. Yes, I always love it because Rachel, we're always near to each other so I can walk people over and explain to them all the benefits of the HMAA program. So well, thank you for joining. Yes, yes. And um, I have Scott and Scott is with Hawaii Cool Water. Scott, do you want to introduce yourself and your company and tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Well, my name is Scott Lichtenstein, and I'm the general manager of Hawaiian Cool Water and Coffee Systems Hawaii. We're locally owned and operated and have had the privilege of service, serving the local business community here for over a decade uh, in water treatment and coffee systems. And I'm honored to be here today. Thank you. And last year, I was over at your booth a lot, just, you know, trying to hydrate. So... <laughs> Yes, it's important. So the show's mission is to connect all the members of our food service, hotel, hospitality industry with businesses to be sure that all of the services are providing to our business to, to keep them flourishing. And um, many of our uh, people who are participating, the exhibitors, um, have been doing this for a long time. So you know, I'm going to tell you my age now. I've been attending these shows now since the 70s. And yes, it's always great when you see the industry come together all at one show and find out what's the newest, what's the latest, and what's the greatest, right? And every year you see it evolve. Um, last year, it was very, very um, obvious that, you know, technology was number one. And yet the basics, such as medical provider and Water and coffee is such a vital part of our industry. So I have a few questions, everyone. Let's start off with Star. I'm going to start off with you. So can you please outline the specific advantages and opportunities that an exhibitor will experience once they reserve the booth at the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show? Because right now, booth sales are open, right? Yep. So booth sales are open. Um, we're running the early bird specials through the end of December. So obviously, hot. Huh? up on now well you can um so as far as advantages and stuff you know obviously yes absolutely hhrs is hawaii's only business to business hospitality show um and it is something where it's in it's an industry only trade show um so that means you know we're not just looking for general attendees we're really looking for those decision makers um be it your gms your restaurant owners your chefs to attend um, to really make it beneficial on both ends. So one, as an exhibitor, and then also as an attendee. Um, and obviously, as you know, Hawaii is all about networking. Um, so some great networking also to be had there. Um, and as the official hospitality show for Hawaii, you know, backed by HRA and HLTA, um, it's been really nice to be able to kind of sit down this year with both parties and kind of really listen into 
the back end like needs um, and to kind of really solve those problems or solve those issues and bring in vendors to help solve those those needs. Yes. And, and it's so important, Kelly, you know, if anything, right, during the pandemic, we didn't get to meet and, and actually be able to shake hands and meet people. And this is an opportunity we can actually meet someone and meet, put their face with their email, right, with their name. And it's so important. You're right. Um, this show is industry specific. And that's one of the things that our exhibitors always say, you know, they appreciate that it's just not people just walking off the streets that come in and sample everything. It is specific to our industry. You have to have a business card or, or paycheck or something that shows that you are part of our industry. And that's what makes this show so much more valuable because you can be assured the Star Gang, they do a great job, you know, at the front desk, ensuring that that person is part of our industry. Along with, of course, the restaurants, of course, all the different businesses that support the food service industry. There's also a lot of people that come in from government, um, local government. I see a lot of the Department of Education because, as you know, they have food service divisions in every school and every facility. Um, federal, I've seen federal at the show. So there's a lot of opportunities for our exhibitors if they want to meet these types of people walking the aisles in all the different um, sectors of our community. So, number two is my my Rachel. Hey, Rachel. So what motivated HMAA to be an exhibitor again at the RS show? We do love participating. Anything that we can do with Cheryl, we're always all in. Uh, but it, as Kelly shared, it's a great opportunity for us to network with business owners. Um, a lot of our clients are also at the show as well. So being able to catch up with them and talk more than just the day-to-day -day that we might talk to them for their health plans, but figuring out what else is going on with the business, what's new, and of course, seeing the other exhibitor exhibitors um, and what they have that's new for the new year as well. Yes. And every year, right? There's always new exhibitors, Rachel. Every year. I, I was like, when did you pop up? Oh, we've been in business for so many years. I'm like, oh my goodness. It's so wonderful to meet you. And that's always what happens at these shows. I make it a point you know, we walk around and we put our proud member signs in every one of the HRA member booth. We Members love to do business with other members. And you'd be surprised how many restaurateurs will look for that sign and say, hey, you're an HRA member also. When they come to our booth, um, as, as everyone knows, they'll get a little um, ribbon that they'll attach to their badge that shows that they are an HRA member. And then the board of directors also get a second ribbon. So it's kind of like the Boy Scouts, Kelly. It's hilarious. They all come up to the booth because they all want their ribbon. And then we take pictures in our booth. It's always a great time. So this show is really, really special. And I love it. I just love it because as, Ra as Rachel said, yeah, I just love being out there and meeting everybody and, and talking to everyone. So my Scott over there. So what motivated Hawaiian Cool Water and Coffee Systems Hawaii to be an exhibitor at this year's Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. Well, thank you. We've participated in the show since its first year. It's a great opportunity for us to support an industry that has been so good to us. It's a great opportunity also for us to see so many clients in one place and to showcase our new products and services that we're offering. Absolutely. Last year, your booth was busy too. As I said, I kept coming over just to hydrate. Okay, my friend, it's like everything is going on and it's two full days. Kelly, what are the hours of the show? So it's 9 to 5, um, March 20th and 21st. Um, and then this upcoming year, we're moving to the Blazer Exhibition Hall. That's correct. So as um, Rachel was saying, it's probably a little bit bigger. It's a different configuration, but we're excited to be at the Blaisdell. And um, as everyone knows, you know, that's where everybody gathers. And so it, it'll be a nice show. I think parking is going to be easier. So it's going to be a great show. Um, so the question is for Star, how many attendees are we expecting this year? We know the numbers from last year. How many are we expecting this year? So this year, obviously, like kind of looking at all of our other events as well. So that number um, and attendee growth um, has really shown. So we're definitely expecting 5,000 plus for this upcoming year. Um, so really kind of excited to see, um, you know, everyone kind of coming out and, and rubbing elbows and stuff. Yes, yes. And last year, um, you know, because of the app and everything, we could keep track of how many people 
were registered and you can actually see on the app how many people were downloading the app. And Kelly, I do know for a fact, as people were not registered, but they were at the show and I'd go up to them and I'd say, hey, come on, let's download the app and get you on there. And they look at me like, okay, Cheryl, one more app on my phone. But it's always great because that's how you connect. It's a, like you said, a business to business event. So this is how you find out who is attending the show and who is there and you can message each other. It's a really great app. So HMAA, does the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show align with HMAA's overall business objectives? Absolutely. So the mission of the um, Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show is to connect members of the restaurant and the hospitality industry with businesses that exist to support them. So as an insurance provider in the state of Hawaii, being able to share the benefits that we can offer to their businesses is definitely a wonderful opportunity for us. Yes, and each day thousands of people will walk by your booth, girl, and each each year, right, we get to see old friends and yet meet new friends, right? Yes. yes. That's the exciting part about the show. So, Scott, can you elaborate the specific benefits or opportunities that Hawaiian Cool Water um, Coffee Systems Hawaii sees as being an exhibitor at this specific show? Yeah, it it, it gives us the the benefit of not only seeing our clients and prospects in one place, but it also gives us the benefit of sharing our product offerings and collaborating with other vendors to solve problems and provide the best possible service to our local business community. Great. Thank you so much. All right. So, Star, we talked a little bit about the Hoova app. Let's talk about the app again this year. I really like the app. Um, last year, we changed apps to that app, Hoova, and I really liked it. So, you give us some, uh, some, um, insight as a sneak peek into what we can expect this year. Yep. So thanks, Cheryl. Yes, as you mentioned, we are going to be having the Whova app together this year. Um, so this year, we're actually looking to incorporate it a little bit more. So really kind of utilizing it um, to have it be more engaging, right? So with both the vendors and the attendees, because as we know, it's a great platform, um, great for networking. Um, and so it makes it so much easier to kind of capture that information, you know, and whether it's, you know, someone stopping by your booth and just, you know, maybe you're busy with something, but then you still want to capture their information, you know, for later use to contact them, or maybe you're just coming in as an attendee um, and looking for information on that business or on a contact. Um, and then as a vendor, like if you want, you can even gamify it. So that's something we talked about. Um, on the back end, right? If you want people to come down to your booth, it's like, it's just as easy as dropping a business card, but maybe easier because it's digital. Um, you can have people come down and maybe, you know, insert a raffle or something like that. Um, so we will have it up and running um, for use, uh, both for the vendors um, and the attendees by the beginning of February. Nice, nice. That's great because the show is in March, so perfect. And um I have many, many success stories about the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show, but I'm going to ask Rachel on HMAA. So can you share any success stories or pos positive experiences from the past shows that actually influenced HMAA to participate again as an exhibitor at the show? Absolutely. Um, so we do show up in force. We have our account management team and our sales team that are at our booth and walking around. So Again, being able to see our clients that are part of the industry and catching up with them and being able to continue to build those relationships above and beyond the day-to-day -day of managing their healthcare plan. Um, and also to meet new business owners and let them know what uh, what benefits we have to offer them as well. And again, being able to see Cheryl and the team at the Hawaii Restaurant Association, it's always a good time. Um, you leave feeling just very, very happy. Just Everybody's just walking around full spirit, especially after the last couple of years that we had. <laughs> Um, being able to see everybody in person, it's really just such an amazing experience. And it's like you said, you know, my story is, you know, so many people during the pandemic that we had to talk with about all the things that were going on. And then all of a sudden we get to meet them in person. Yeah. It's just like, it's so, it's so, it's so wonderful. It's just a great feeling to finally get through it. And now we're all back, you know, to some normalcy and that's great, right? All right, Scott, so share with our members and viewers, which are all the people who are watching this um, channel, what are some of the products and services you'll be featuring at the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show? Thank you. Well, it's three mainly. Um, our sparkling water is super hot right now. The bevy system, which we showed at the, uh, at the last show, 
Um, it's going to be back as part of our sparkling water lineup. The bevy is amazing. Users can mix and match flavors from that are made from natural extracts, no artificial ingredients. They can choose from over a dozen zero and low calorie flavors. And then they can add boosters such as immunity boosters, caffeine, uh, even electrolytes. Um, as sparkling water is finally catching on in the Hawaii market, the Vivero products also line. Uh, line has also been very, uh, very strong interest for our customers for both existing and, uh, and new. And then also we're going to be doing our coffee equipment um, and services for hospitality. Coffee Systems Hawaii has been around for over 70 years, and we found that our water clients have a real need for help with their coffee equipment. Um, and the last part is really the water treatment. As I don't know if you heard the expression, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Uh, we've been beating the drum for years about water treatment and feeding the valuable commercial equipment uh, for years. Nice. And and I am a sparkling water girl, but it's, of course, like you said, zero calories. We just want flavor. So I would definitely be over at your booth again because I'm a sparkling water girl. This question is for Star. Are there any particular advertising or promotional strategies that the Star Advertiser plans to implement in connection with the presentation at the event? Yes. So absolutely. Um, we're going to be using kind of all avenues, um, including print, digital, online video, social media, you name it. Um, we also just put an ad into the hospitality magazine earlier this month to also spread the word on the 2024 show. Um, additionally, we've listed the show on the national trade show calendar online, and we've already seen some traction um, from that listing with companies inquiring about wanting to be part of the show. So a lot of those even come from like outside of the state. Nice. Nice. I love it. Thank you for doing that because many of, I, I know of a handful of people who have already um, reserved the booth. They're flying in from California. So, you know, it's a, it's an investment, right? They're paying for their airplane, their hotel, their rental car and the booth. And they know that this show is going to be worth it all. And that's why they come back every year. So those are the guys that I normally meet with um, before the show starts. So this is for um, HMAA. So I know that you have a focus on promoting health and wellness within the hospitality sector. So does participating in the show tie into this focus? Absolutely. So, I mean, uh, we provide above and beyond just the medical and drug and prescription coverage that's available, all of our wellness benefits to our members. And so it's a great opportunity for us to remind them that they have acupuncture, chiropractic, massage, naturopathic services. Uh, we have our active and fit riders, so members can go to the gym or they can work out at home if they're not ready to be in the gym. Um, we have our high doc platform that allows members to um, access a doctor usually within 30 minutes. And so anytime we're able to get in front of our members and remind them of all the benefits that they have, um, and also to talk to prospective clients about what benefits they could be offering their employees. That's, yeah, you have such an array of of benefits it's it always surprises me when people say what because they don't realize it right and sometimes you have to keep telling them over and over and i everyone's so busy now it's just don't forget you also have that benefit and they're like oh i forgot so it's important to keep reminding them right yeah so scott so does hawaiian cool water and coffee systems hawaii see um its participation in the show um as continuing the growth and development of the hospitality industry in Hawaii. Absolutely. Participating in the show allows us to collaborate with the other vendors and end users themselves. Uh, we invest an incredible amount into product sourcing, training, and research and development, and we're committed to sharing what we learn. Uh, we feel that there's no other company in Hawaii of our size that is dedicated to our craft. That's great. That's great. Yes. So um, this question is for Star. How does the Star Advertiser plan to engage with event participation, event participants and the attendees during the show. So, you know, as mentioned, we will have that app to further networking between the attendees and vendors. And, you know, we talked about how the vendors can leverage the app kind of on their own, whether it's like scheduling meetings or encourage um, other attendees to stop by their booth. Um, on top of that, you know, we want to increase that engagement between the vendors and the attendees. So we're going to continue to do the seminars. So you know, like Scott said, that that growth of the industry um, and then kind of perpetuating that knowledge between each other. Um, but then we're also going to have something new this year where we're going to be having a live demonstration platform. Um, so for businesses and vendors um, to leverage and, you know, really showcase their products. That'd be great. That'd be great. So what are you planning on, on showcasing like um, demonstrations of 
Is it a secret? Oh, well, we're still finalizing everything, um, but we're looking for, you know, guys that maybe have, I don't know, whether it's like knives or different, maybe like food demonstrations um, or, you know, using it as that platform to really kind of talk about maybe the services they provide. That's excellent. It gives everyone the platform. So that's a great idea. Okay. So I'm going to go back now to Hawaiian cool water and no, did I just do Hawaiian cool water? I'm so sorry. I'm kind of, I'm into conversation and I'm not following, right? So let me go back. Um, go ahead. I'm going to let um, Rachel, HMA, is there anything else that you want to say um, about the show? I'm just, we're excited to participate again this year. We're excited to see our clients, our prospects, our friends at the Hawaii Restaurant Association and all of the vendors. Scott, I'm ready for some of that sparkling water. Sign me up. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Go ahead, Scott. Do you have any other um, comments that you want to make before we close the show? Uh, no, I think you guys all covered it great. Uh, it goes without saying that we're super excited to be here and to be able to uh, collaborate with everybody. So thank you so much. And I'm super excited to share the sparkling water. Please stop by our booth and 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 let's have some fun. Yes, yes. It's always great because you have a lot of people, right? Traffic it brings a lot of traffic because you have great, right? Coffee and great drinks. In your booth. That's always a great seller. Kelly, is there anything else that you would like to bring up? Because I did want to bring up last year, we had the robots. Yes, absolutely. So last year we did have the robots and, you know, last year's theme was kind of like that technology theme. So it was perfect. Those robots came out um, and we did have some businesses connect. So I know there are some businesses that have used them and implemented them um, in their stores. So that's great. Um, but I did want to mention, obviously, that booth sales and sponsorships are still available. Um, you know, those early bird specials are good through the end of December. So sign up. Um, and you can actually sign up directly on the website this year. So that's hawaiihotelandrestaurantshow.com. So you can kind of do that all digitally, which is nice and simple. Um, or if you're already working with a rep, you can go that route. Um, you know, and if unfortunately maybe you can't uh, attend as a vendor this year, we still do encourage everyone to um, come out and attend and pass along the word um, just because I should, I'm sure there's something that everyone can get out of it. Um, also, a quick shout out to UHA, which is our breakfast sponsor for both mornings. Um, so, you know, thankfully, they're uh, they're doing the continents of breakfast and um, coffee refreshments, um, not just for vendors, but also attendees. So come get a, a bite to eat. Um, and then also Hawaii Gas and CNS Sales as sponsors as well. Nice. That's so great that they're all being sponsors of this event. We appreciate it. Very much. And um, Kelly, so we talk about the robots and technology. The robots were going around the exhibit hall and Rachel was there and she saw them going up and down the aisles. Right, Rachel? And they were like, they had candy on them. They had lays on them. By the end of the show, the robot looked like it was being bogged down, but it just kept toodling, toodling along. Right. And um, the robots are used not only in the food service industry, but also in the healthcare industry, any business that People go back and forth, you know, in a warehouse, there's some um, cleaning robots, security robots. So it's always great to see. The other technology that was very, very, um, um, I, there were so many, so many new technologies, but it is all the apps as restaurants, you know, are trying to figure out ways to, with the worker shortage, you know, to keep the, the orders coming in, apps, being able to have an app so that they, the your um, guests can order their food ahead of time, pay on the app and just come in to pick up. It was really, really wonderful to see. Um, there's just a lot of excitement in the show, a lot of um, different types of vendors, and we're looking forward to having a really wonderful show in March. Now, is there anything else, everyone, that we can we need to cover before I close down the show? Thank you, guys. I think that's everything. Thank you very much. So again, everyone, the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show is going to be at the Blaze still this year. It is free to our industry, and you must have a business card or a paycheck to represent, I mean, to show that you are representing the industry. Also, booth sales are available right now. And as Kelly mentioned, especially if you're a member of the Hawaii Restaurant Association, you do have an early bird special. Please sign up early for the best locations and work with them. 
Um, we also are going to start, Kelly, we're going to start having people actually, the attendees start downloading the app in February. Yeah, it'll be all set by, it should be all set by February. So attendees and vendors, um, and then all the registration for that will be uh, on the app, the Hoopa app. Yes. Yes. And, and last year we had people who had questions. So de definitely reach out to Cheryl if you have any questions on the app. I will be one of the first on the app with Kelly so that we can get everybody also on the app. So again, sign up for an exhibit booth, attend the Hawaii Hotel and Restaurant Show. It is, again, a world-class show. We have people flying in from different parts of the world to attend this show. And so you want to at least come on down and see who's there. Again, my name is Cheryl Matsuoka, the Executive Director of the Hawaii Restaurant Association and the Hawaii Restaurant Association Educational Foundation. The Hawaii Restaurant Association is the organization unifying, representing, and supporting Hawaii's restaurant and food service industry. Thank you so much, and we'll see you again.